bouncing, bouncing, baby. It's Mega 104, three of them from old school. Frank's custom the hydraulics getting ready to get up off the ground and get it up there, gonna give it some more bounce. Oh my goodness. Last year we did this car show and concert out here, and it went absolutely fantastic. We had a guy here by the name of Brenton Wood, who was an old school uh, artist. And then this year we decided, you know what, let's do it again. And Fort McDonald was real, real influential in helping us get all this going. The vibe is awesome, a real West Coast vibe out here. The music is, is a part of the culture, the lifestyle, you know, and that, that comes hand in hand with the cars, the bow riders. It, it's just the culture of, of the West Coast. What's up? Y'all ready to party or what? At the car show, you'll see a lot of families, a lot of friends. It's a gathering. It's a, a lowrider convention, so to speak, that uh, where everybody comes together and celebrates the quality of the cars. But also, lowrider has roots. Uh, Lowrider roots goes back to the 40s. The first lowriders were actually what we call pachucos. And those pachucos actually built bombs out of, when they came out of the service, they came out of the Army, they came out of the Navy, they came out of the Air Force. And these, and these, and these young Chicanos or Latinos, what they did was they went home back to the U.S. and they wanted to be self-identify themselves. And what they did was they, they started working on their cars and identifying themselves a reflection on their vehicles. I do like the body line on the vehicles. The body line, the way they're bulk, bubbly, you know, the way the chrome, how they combine sometimes uh, a little bit of brass with chrome, stainless steel, it's my pride and joy. We've got people out here that are definitely in their 70s, and then we've got people out here who are only seven. So it brings the whole family, they come out, everyone looks forward to it. Car shows are definitely a lifestyle, it's a culture, and especially for all the Hispanics in, right here in the United States, they simply love it. I mean, a lot of us grew up cruising uh, with, with your car. The car is so special to the family. It's nothing like a guy getting his first car and start fixing up the way he wants to. Our niche in our audience is it's Hispanics. It's second generation, third generation Hispanics that have been here, and we like to really get involved with the community because, again, a lot of that uh, culture is really family-oriented. We do a lot of different charities where we try to help out as many people as we can. Also, for people that are sick, or might have some type of ailment. Cancer is a big one. We have a lot of events. We just got doing one about a month ago where we try to raise money to help some folks that need some help with their cancer bills because that always doesn't get covered by insurance. So we do whatever we can to help the family because really that's what it's all about. When it comes to family, you can't replace it. So we do our best to help keep that together.